So I have here three Pro Maxes. For sure, you don't know which one is which one, right? I'm going to just uh, try to explain you in a, in a couple of uh, fast uh, differences and comparison to them. So you know for sure which one to buy. Okay, so we are in the era of iPhone 16. So you have a 16 Pro Max available, right? All right. This one is the 12 Pro Max, all right? This one is the 13 Pro Max. And this one is the 14 Pro Max. I don't have the 15 Pro Max, 16 Pro Max, but I specifically got these four versions because the 15 Pro Max, 16 Pro Max, 16 Pro Max, it's kind of different from these ones, but they look alike between them. So let's say if you want to upgrade, um, you will get the, six, the 16 Pro Max, 15 Pro Max, which is going to be a huge upgrade. But let's say if you don't want to spend money and you want to get something um, more affordable, I think these three options are the best affordability for you. Okay, so I'm going to go fast. I turned on this one specifically so you can see that 14 Pro Max you can see right away, but this one has the, um, the new option. Um, I just wanted to point out the dynamic island. So dynamic island is going to be all available in 15 Pro Max and 16 Pro Max, but it's not going to be available in 12 Pro Max and 13 Pro Max. Always on display is going to be available in this one and now. Not on this two. Um, emergency emergency SOS satellite is going to be available on this one and up, not on this two. And basically, you have the A16 Bionic chip, which is 40% faster than previous ones. Um, you have the um, uh, photonic engine, which improves mid and low light performance for photos, action mode and cinematic. Um, uh, mode, splash and water, dust resistant for KW vis vision video recording, face ID, Apple, Apple Pay, MagSafe, wireless uh, charging, uh, familiar to this one. So basically, you're going to have always on display the um, dynamic island. That's the most important, I guess, differences. The design is going to be the same. So this one doesn't have a dynamic island, right? You can see here they have a the notch right here you have the notch so the difference is 12 pro max has a wider notch and then you go 13 pro max you give a a, a a narrower notch okay you can see right here okay a narrower notch and a, uh, and a bigger notch and um so that's the biggest difference. There's no always on display on both. They all have pretty much the same design. So from that's why I omitted the 15 Pro Max and 16 Pro Max because they have a new design that they look alike. And this one, they have an, the same design look alike. So you can see that this is the fingerprint if you don't use a case, but you know, I don't think too many people don't use a case. Majority people use cases. They have exactly the same size, pretty much the same buttons, like millimeter, millimeters differences uh, in where is the um, location. And then 12 Pro Max, 13 Pro Max has a um, physical SIM card and 15, 14 Pro Max doesn't have physical SIM card, only eSIM in the US version. All right, let me turn around so you can see the back. Okay, the back. Okay, so for me to differentiate, if just looking at the back, I would see the cameras, okay? So you see three cameras in all of them. This one, smaller, bigger, and bigger. So if you remember the uh, size of the cameras, you can just tell which one is which one from the, the size of the camera. 14 Pro Max, 13 Pro Max, and 12 Pro Max. You could see this, this one is a green version. It's actually uh, came up um, when the 13 Pro Max, 13 version came up, a regular September event, this color wasn't available and they um, released it, I think, in March. Um, so this 
every year I guess the iPhone has specific color only that comes in a specific time so the 13 Pro Max has green color all right so basically everything is the same same design pretty much same heaviness same materials with biggest differences in um, Oops, just, yeah, I guess they are too close to each other. The biggest differences are gonna be um, the dynamic island and the notch. The screen is the same, charging. It's gonna be lightning on all of them. So basically that's the same phone, pretty much. You're gonna get the same software. This one is gonna be supported longer because it's a newer phone and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, basically, you know that's the biggest difference so you buy this one uh, if you want to have longer support if you don't want to spend money on the 15 pro max or 16 pro max one thing very important apple intelligence is not going to be available in, in any of them it's going to be a bit available 15 pro pro max and up this one they're not going to get any apple intelligence so i don't think you're going to miss a lot if you're not like um Tage Savvy or something like this for now. And it's actually not available for the public in general. It's gonna be available, I guess, sometime at the end of 2024, the beginning of 2025 or something like this. Uh, so if you're just doing regular Apple iPhone stuff, you could just easy buy this one if you want a bigger screen. And then you choose whatever design you like more and forget about the, the dynamic island because it's not gonna change your life completely. This is gonna do exactly the same thing. They're all gonna do exactly the same thing as, you know, pretty much the same thing. Uh, always on display, the same. You know, it, it, it has a, maybe a convenience, but it's not gonna like be changing your life completely. So you buy the phone that you can afford. You can buy a used one, which I think that's the best option. Uh, you can go to eBay or Amazon, you can buy like an excellent condition or a very good condition. And I think that this is a, um, one of the best options for you if you want to get the Pro Max, the big screen, but you don't want to spend like um, thousands of dollars, more than a thousand dollars on the new models. Thank you.